What's up, Star Wars fans and action figure collectors? Welcome back to another retro collection figure review. Now, this one is going to be a hot ticket item, I think. Um, you know, Boba Fett coming back into sort of a vintage style, a new take on Boba Fett. Uh, Boba Fett based on his appearance on Morak from season two of The Mandalorian, which is cool to see. Looking forward to seeing this card on a proper vintage collection figure without the big ugly sticker which, you know, I'm not even going to bother about taking off. Um, but yeah, there's just something about Boba Fett wearing sort of, you know, a, a almost black uh, undersuit. I don't know, there's just... I did the uh, the TVC Deluxe Boba Fett and the Black Series version of this figure. Um, there's just something awesome about them. I love them. Love it. And yeah, Boba Fett, you know, probably still regarded as one of the most popular of the Kenner figures given the amount of stories and stuff with the rocket firing feature and all that so it's really cool um but yeah looking forward to getting the regular TVC version of this Boba Fett and he is on the way so we'll be seeing that this year I think so we'll get rid of the card back crack the figure out it is a good looking figure let's get these rifles out pistol Take a look. Zoom in a little bit. We'll get a look at his weapons. So there is the first one, obviously. His uh, signature rifle, which is cool. It's nice to sort of see that in the Kenner style. And blaster pistol, which is nice too. So yeah, we'll give him them afterwards, but we'll get a look at the sort of the figure and the sculpt and everything. Which, you know, like I said, really, really cool. I just love that sort of repainted look green, the yellow, the, the red. There's his jetpack. I love that they've sort of stuck with a very similar style to the uh, vintage Boba Fett, even the missile, which is sort of looks like it's its own piece. It's been glued in. Nice homage there. You know, there's the flat piece there where the old LLJ slot would have been for the flick missile. But yeah, definitely sort of modernized it a little bit just to give it that sort of classic jetpack feel. That sort of more, more modern. Um, slightly more realistic, I suppose, is the better term for it. But yeah, I, I, I dig this figure. I'm looking forward to getting a shot of him standing next to the, uh, the retro uh, Empire version that came out a couple of years back. So that's really cool. I'm digging it a lot. Yeah, just, uh, you know, since his appearance in uh, Mandalorian, I've, you know, very much become, b well, admitting to my Boba fandom, because <laughs> I was in the closet about it for a long time, but I'm, I'm, I'm cool with it now. It's cool. My Boba Fett is, is awesome. Let's see how we have him with his weapons. Sort of the green, the red, and the black on the helmet. Looks good. Thought Mando would be cool to get a bit of a back-to-back -back shot. Even though it's not really his Book of Boba armor, but it's still cool nonetheless. sculpted the sort of lower legs is cool too the baggy sort of trousers that hang over the uh the knee knee rockets that's awesome so yeah love to hear what you guys think in the comments please sound out this is a this is a cool fig figure i reckon i'm i'm digging it i wonder if we'll see a, another version of boba in the future from his uh, book of boba sort of appearance That'll be cool to see. But yeah, very, very content with this one. Hope you've enjoyed this video. I should have reviews of the Dark Trooper and the Armorer coming up very, very soon. At the time of recording this, I haven't picked them up yet, but uh, hopefully next, next few days I'll have those figures and I'll be able to review them too, finishing up the, finishing up the wave that I was never going to buy. 
So thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Till then, may the force be with you always.